Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I have a drugstore haul. I went to Walmart and I went to Ulta, but I went to like the drugstore side of Ulta. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with Walmart just cause there's only like three things in here. I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. They didn't have my shades, so I got two shades, but it was only like $5, so hey. This is the color Cream Beige, which might actually, it, it might work. But then I also got Nude Ivory, so yeah. I'm excited to try this out. I have pretty combination skin. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily, sometimes it just decides whatever the heck it wants to do. But I've heard so many great things about this foundation all over the YouTube world, so I thought that I would give it a whirl. I also picked up this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. What color did I get? Light? Oh, it says light pale. I've heard nothing but good things about this too, so I thought that I would try it out. I feel like concealer is one of the hardest things to find at the drugstore that I like personally. So I've heard that this one is the best from a lot of different people. So thought I'd try this out. And now we can get into what I got at Ulta. This was the number one thing that was on my list. Everybody was saying that this is seriously the best bronzer in the world. So I picked up the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. All of them were shattered at Ulta. So I was very lucky to find this there because it was kind of like at the back of the shelf and I went digging and I found it. So a lot of people have recommended this to me. I've had friends recommend this to me. You guys have recommended this to me. So I am excited to try this. I got the Real Techniques sponge. I've heard that this is pretty comparable to the Beauty Blender sponge, but some people actually like this one better. So I've actually never tried it out, but I'd give it a whirl and I love Real Techniques. One of the best brushes in makeup, not just from the drugstore, but in general. I got some lashes. Um, I've already worn these, my apologies, but these are the Ardell Trios. They're pretty nice. I've never tried the trios before until I did recently and they're nice, I like them. And then I also got the Vegas Nay Eyelore Shining Star Lashes. So these just look really flirty, very fluffy, very like, you know, they just look cute. And I love Vegas Nay, she's beautiful. I think that like the drugstore is one of the best places to get eyelashes because they're very affordable. You can buy them in bulk and they look good. Like lashes just look good. So these just look very beautiful and I can't wait to try them. I got quite a few things from LA Girl. The first thing I got is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This is in the color Porcelain. It might be a little bit too light, but they did have a couple darker shades and I don't live too far from Ulta, so I can go and get a darker shade if I need to. I didn't know that they sold LA Girl in Ulta. That's pretty cool. I thought it was just like an online only thing, but apparently it's not. Um, actually, no, I, that's a lie. I've seen it like, at, I don't know, I've seen it before. Before it became like a thing. I remember seeing it in like the dollar store or something. Am I wrong? Maybe it was something else. But I got this. I'm excited to try it out. It reminds me, it looks exactly like the Makeup Forever HD packaging. I don't know if it's supposed to be comparable to that. So I'm excited to try this. And then I got this for cream contouring. It's the Pro Conceal from LA Girl in the color Toast. I thought that this would be a good cream contour product. I haven't found like a cream contour product from the drugstore that I love, so I would be trying this. I got two other things from LA Girl. They're two eyeliner pencils and they're both in different shades of blue. I don't know why I got these. I think they just looked really pretty. So I got the color, what color did I get? Royal Blue. And then I also got Mermaid Blue. Oh, another thing that I got from Physicians Formula is this eyeshadow palette. It just looked really pretty. It's in the color Disco Glam. I don't know, it looked like something I could just use with my finger and pat on my lid and it would look very like sparkly and pigmented and beautimous. So about that. I got two things from Makeup Revolution. I've never tried their brand before, but let me just say it's a little, it rubs me a little bit the wrong way that they are legit copying bigger brands. Like this is called the Light and Shade Palette and it looks exactly like the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I know that some people like that because they're looking for alternatives. Kinda bothers me, but I bought it anyway, so I don't know. It honestly looked like the only eyeshadow palette at the drugstore that I would wanna try. And then they also have this, which is a highlighter. They call it a Shimmer Brick Radiant, so this looks exactly like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. So I'm excited to put both of these, uh, both of these to the test, see how they work out, see what they look like, and check out their blendability, their pigmentation, all that kind of stuff. What else? I got some more stuff from Maybelline. I picked up the gel liner. This is the, what is it, the Eye Studio in Black is Black. So I remember I used to use this back in the day and I liked it then, but then as soon as I found Inglot gel liner, I just have never looked at any other eyeliner since. So, but yeah. 
I thought I'd try this out. And then these lipsticks seriously looked so beautiful. Maybelline came out with this new line of nude lipsticks. They also have nude lip liners and I was like, yes, they all look beautiful. The finish looks really pretty. It's like a matte finish. So I picked up the color 535, which is purely nude. Looks like a really good like nude color. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look so pretty and it's matte. I find that it is extremely hard to find a good matte lipstick at the drugstore because they'll say that they're matte, but then they've got this shine, this obvious shine. This is a true matte lipstick, so I'm glad I got two shades. The other shade that I got is 550, which is honey pink. So pretty, so I can already tell that I'm gonna like these, hopefully. The, they last long on the lips, but that just looks so beautiful. It looks like something that I would pick up from Sephora or something like that, which is exactly what I'm looking for at the drugstore. I am not about making drugstore videos just for the sake of making it a drugstore video. I'm gonna be recommending things that I personally love, things that I would grab over a high-end product or in addition to a high-end product. I'm not gonna grab something that's drugstore just to use it because, you know what I mean? I'm just here to recommend products that I enjoy and that I like and that I think you will like. Okay, and then I got some blushes. This one is also from LA Girl. I didn't realize how much LA Girl stuff I got, but this, I think Casey Holmes talked about this in a video. This is the LA Girl Just Natural Blush. It looks like a blush that I would wear. Uh, looks very pretty. Looks like an everyday kind of color. Totally forgot that they had L'Oreal because L'Oreal was like facing the counter. It was like parallel to it. So you couldn't, I don't know. It was weird how they have it placed. So then I was next in line and I saw it from afar. I'm like, oh crap, I forgot L'Oreal. And I had my mom run and grab this for me because this looked really beautiful. This has a bunch of different colors of blush. It got a natural blush and then a bunch of like spring summery blushes. So I was excited to try this. And this is in the number 230. I don't know if they have other colors as well, but I picked this up too. I also recently got some PR from Rimmel. So I will be doing a full face testing out drugstore makeup very, very soon. And some of that stuff will be incorporated in it. So if you haven't seen it in this haul, that's why. And that is everything that I picked up from the drugstore. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're excited to see them in action. So stay tuned for that video because I will be testing all of this out and doing a full face of first impressions. Let me know what drugstore makeup you think that I would like down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to pick it up pretty soon. Thank you so much for hanging out today and watching this video and I'll see you later. Bye.